Hi, I'm Sharstar, and today I'm here to show you how to make a starfish bracelet out of rainbow loom. So this is how it will turn out. Okay, so let's get started. You will need one rainbow loom, uh, one hook, and two colors of your choice. Today I have orange and blue, and jelly blue. First, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to take two blue bands, and you're pretty much just going to do a tip triple single pattern. So just do a triple single. So first, just gonna make a single string down here with two bands. And um, so as you go down, just remember that two bands, um, and it's always two bands unless I say like differently, but I think it's pretty much mostly two bands. So. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing we just did here on these other two. Almost done. So then, now we're going to take one band for every row, and you're just going to place crossing bands in a triangle. Oh, and by the way, the um, arrows are pointing towards me for this design. So if they weren't, if they're facing away from you, then you would do V's, but now for, but they're facing towards me. So I'm doing uh, triangles. So this is one band, by the way, not two. You can do two if you want to, but I recommend one. Okay, so you don't do on the top one or the bottom because the bottom one is a little different. So for the bottom one, you put it here and then you don't put it just like this, but you can put it like that, but then you're gonna have to take your hook and take this band and pull it over so that there's nothing here. Okay, so now we're gonna loop this up. So we're only making half of this blue bracelet, this blue bracelet part. So you're gonna take two bands here and you're pretty much looping it up like a triple single. So the middle one's the easiest because it's you can see the bands, so it's much easier. So just loop them up like a regular triple single. So now we're gonna go to the sides and the sides are much harder. Well, not much, but they're a little harder. So for the sides, they have the crossing bands on them. So you're gonna to have to push back the crossing bands and grab the double bands. So you're always grabbing two bands because you place down doubles. So I'm just gonna place this. And if you wanted to, you probably could do a single band instead of double bands, but I recommend doing double because they're just easier. Okay, so then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Um, so I'm just gonna loop this up. So then you're actually gonna have to do another one of these. Um, but for, but you're gonna have to connect to these um, for the second one. So the second one's a little different, um, but I'll show you how to do that one. So do. And again, really sorry for the background noise. Okay, so then once you've looped everything up, there's a little mistake here. You're gonna um put these, do you see on the top, there's a bunch of bands. If I just took everything off, this would fall apart because of this. So you're gonna pull, you're gonna place these loops up here on your hook and pull off. And you have this, which is actually going to be half of this. So this is halfish of this. This is probably a bigger size. Um, but if you want to, this is. I'm going to show you how to make the smaller size. The bigger size um, is um, pretty much this um, three of these. But I'll show you how to connect them in a minute. So then I'm just going to do the same thing with the placing, but the looping and the um, cross over bands are a little different. So I'm just gonna place this. 
this. So yeah. And I came up with this design actually this summer. Um, over summer because um, I was doing something um, for somebody and um, anyways so we're just pretty much doing the exact same thing as we did on this with the, it's pretty much the exact same pl placing um for this but so Okay, so I'm just going to finish these two rows, and then we're going to do the, um, we're going to do the, um, crossing bands, the looping up, and then we're going to do the starfish, which is, this is a starfish charm, and it's not, this is not, because sometimes, like, when I first told people I was doing, I'm going to do a, Starfish race that people said I was thought of saying starburst, but this is a starfish. So, just making that clear right now. <laughs> but it's probably already clear. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna take these bands and we're doing the crossing bands, but you don't get the top and the bottom this time because like on the other time we did this little thing at the bottom but you're not 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 even not even this, that to this time so just do the top and the bottom okay so um you're just gonna do i think in total it's just 10 crossing bands um, and I'm sorry, but I don't know how many bands you need for each uh, for this design. But so after you have this, oh, make sure the crossing bands were one and the sink. Okay, so I'm just gonna um, place. So then you have these on um, your hook. You see, so you're gonna have to place these on the end ends, the little like end thingy. You're placing t four, four little or band kind of side thingies on each pin, and then you're gonna loop it up the same way we did just time. But you're gonna have to like push back the um, other singles. So you're just gonna loop the middle, which is the easiest. So I recommend doing that first. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. Okay, so after that, we're gonna do the sides. And this, this so the sides um, are pretty much the same. It's just a little trickier because, you know, you have to go behind the, um, really, the loops here. Okay, so I'm just gonna loop up one side. I'm just gonna loop up one side. Um, and I'm just gonna loop it up so that it's all the way looped up. Then you're gonna do the other side so that it's fit, so that it's like almost. So I'm just gonna um. Oh. Okay, here's so I'm just gonna get two, and this is the last time we're gonna do this. But after this, we're gonna have to make the starfish, which is a little more tricky. So, uh, every time, every time at least one band on the side pops. Yeah. Okay, so then you're just going to do the same, so we loop this entire thing up. And then you're just going to do the same thing that we did pretty much down there. We're just going to put these all on my on the hook. Oh. And don't forget one band, because if you'd forget, just don't forget, um, very many on each pin up there because if you've got 
have more than two, if you forget two or more than two, then it's going to fall apart. But if you should have like, um, so then after you take all this off, it's going to be just a pretty shortish bracelet. But this, if this is, you want a small wrist, then you do that. If you don't, if you have a bigger wrist, then you pretty much do this, the second um, total single that we just did again, but with this end. So I'm going to make... Um, now I'm going to do the starfish charm. So here I have six legs, and each, you can choose if you want a short or long starfish. I'm going to do a shorter one like this because I want to hurry this up a little bit. So one, two, I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to do eight kind of things. So I'm going to show you how to make one leg, and then you can do however much you want. You have to do it six times, though. So I'm just going to take two... So I'm going to wrap one, three, one circle band around three times. And then I'm going to take two bands and string it through. So I'm just going to do the same thing so that there are three little loopy things. So this, this, this end actually includes one. So there has to be eight. So I have three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. So this is one um, leg, and you have to do six of these. So um, I'm just gonna, so just ahead of time, just know that you're gonna have to do six of these. So um, I'm just gonna make six more. So just do it with me, because you know I don't know how to speed up, and. The thing that I find is sometimes when I do frame balloon videos and people speed up, I have to pause it and I don't like doing that because it kind of wastes, I feel like it kind of wastes the battery. Either way, you'd be using the same thing, but uh, yeah. so just do the same thing. And you can do as long as you want, as short as works for your um, bracelet. So um, I'm making a pretty small bracelet because... Seven, eight. Okay, so I have two legs. You have to do. Um, I have to do four more. So I will be. Um, so just do. Well, um, I'm back and I've made six of the legs. So now we're gonna make the starfish charm. So to make the starfish charm part, you're gonna take a single band and you're gonna thread it through. Or you can do two bands. Two bands probably more safe because if you let that one, one, if one breaks, then it might be a little bad. So just gonna. Thread those two bands through the thingy and put it back on your hook like this. And then you're going to make it slip knot it and then pull. So then this is actually going to be part as to be used to catch that. So I'm just going to put this is like the starfish bracelet, put that to the side. And I'm going to connect my chain together. So I'm just going to, um, put this, so I'm going to take this, because in the beginning we have these two little charmy thingy majiggies, so I'm going to be my finger, and put them through, um, I put them through, put my hook through, and then I'm going to take two bands, and I'm going to thread those two bands through it, so that like, it's like this, and then I'm going to slide this through here, we have two bands. I'm gonna slide this through here. I'm gonna take this off my hook, go through this, take this, and wrap this around one of any one of these little uh, things. But I wouldn't make it like the first one there, like scooch over a little, so that's like this. And then you will have three six charms and that is your starfish bracelet so i hope so um so that's how you make a starfish bracelet i hope you enjoyed thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and like oh and sorry about the um the noise in the background it was the rainbow disruptor